In this video, I will be giving you nine tips on how to reduce your risk of neurological disorders as you get older, including myself. Now, you might be saying, oh, Kes, you are not a doctor. I never said I was, okay? But by virtue of the job that I do, I have come to realize these tips, and most of it have been suggested by the Alzheimer's Society. Others I found out on my research, because as a trainer, you have to research. You have to be on top of your game to pass this relevant information to those who are coming to you to be trained, okay? So number one tip is this, your diet. Your diet plays a significant part, you know, in keeping healthy as you get older. There's this that my late father used to say. He said he used to say that, rather, that when you take care of yourself for the first 50 years, yourself or your body will take care of you for the next 50 years. And believe me, it is not a lie. Because I saw how my daddy aged beautifully. Okay? So number one tip is your diet. Like I said earlier. Now, the diet has been touted here as the healthy diet or the healthiest diet is the Mediterranean diet. Why? Because it is rich in whole grains, nuts, fruits, fish, and low in red meat and sugar. That's why. And if you do more research on your own, you will discover that people who live in the Mediterranean, they live longer and they have less diseases, if you get what I mean. Okay? Hey, hey, hey. My name is Kesiena Aquara Ati, a health and social care trainer. To all of my old and new returning subscribers, my mentees, much love to you guys. Hey, hey, if you are just watching me for the first time or you came across this channel per chance, welcome to this channel. On this channel, I talk about care and everything care. And you will do well to what? Smash the subscribe button, okay? Give us a thumbs up by liking this video. And don't forget to click on that all important notification bell. So whenever I upload it, we'll be among the very first to know. Freely, guys, it's not you don't pay for it. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram, Care by Kes, and on TikTok, Carry Kes. And now I'll, I'll see you there. I'm also on Facebook as well as Kesiena Aquara. So do want to follow me there. Come on, guys, let's move, take the love over there as well. All right. So let's go to number two tip. Number two tip is be physically active. Now, some of you might be saying, oh, I'm retired already. Yes, you might be retired, but you're not tired. The brain still needs some reason to move. Okay, so look for what floats your boat. Is it walking, going for long walks? Is it Pilates? Is it yoga? Is it swimming? Is it aerobics? Whatever floats your boat, keep your body moving. Be physically active, okay? Now, the third uh, tip is that you have to be mentally active as well because you know your brain cell you have over a hundred billion brain cells you need to use it nobody has been known to use three quarter of that yet so keep your brain moving the moment you want to be sedentary you know you will i mean you will lose capacity remember the world or should i say the adage that says that if you don't use it you will lose it so what flows your boat is it playing chess is it work, uh, crosswords? Is it puzzles? Scrabble? What search? Whatever floats your boat, do it. Keep that brain moving. Give it a reason to keep moving and do what it needs to do. All right? The first tip is to quit smoking. I didn't say that. Researchers did. Okay? Now, it is said that the less you smoke or if you're able to quit smoking you reduce your chances of developing neurological diseases or disorders by a significant percentage okay now the fifth point is or tip is quit alcohol or drink less binging on drinks on a daily basis is not helping okay and of course again your chances of a neurological disorder reduces if you stop drinking or you reduce it significantly Next tip is to stay socially active. You get what I said? Now, if researchers have said that when you are somebody who likes being alone, lonely, you can, it can lead to what? Depression. And that can lead to dementia or Alzheimer's. So be socially active. Now, I haven't said that you should mix with people who are toxic, who give you nothing but stress. No. Be with people who give you joy, who love having you around, who make you happy. Now, if you feel, okay, you don't have any friends, you can volunteer. 
as a church, wherever, volunteer. That brings joy as well. Okay, because loneliness isn't good. It leads to depression and dementia as well. Now, another tip again is do not stress. Getting yourself through stress isn't right, isn't good for us. Now, we know that when your stress is high, what happens? Your cortisol levels are high. That can lead to neurological diseases or cancer. As researchers rather have said, sleep is another tip. Let us learn to sleep and rest as well. Particularly for those of us who are new in the UK, who just came in. And some of you, like I've met a lot of you as well, you are, uh, what do I call it now? You're converting the pounds to your country uh, currency. And you're like, yeah, you're in box. But remember that you pay your bills in pounds. So my issue here is that please learn to rest. Learn to sleep. Now you should sleep for between seven to nine hours. If you feel you cannot make the nine hours mark, at least make seven. Because when you sleep for that seven hours and you get into the deep sleep, in the process of your deep sleep, your brain flushes out all that bitter amyloid that have been linked to, to dementia or Alzheimer's later on in life. Let us learn to sleep. Let us learn to rest. It is not about running after money. It's those who are alive that can enjoy your money. Not you, if you pass on to the great beyond without resting because you are giving yourself projects that nobody has given you please learn to rest you are more important than anything else if that makes any sense right now another tip here again is learn to do your health checks your health checks are very important let us learn to do them go for what they call a full body mot if you're in the uk here it's free you pay your NI, so you can walk to your gym and say i want to do a health a full health check and you'll be given it it's as simple as that. Does that make sense? And then lastly, let me also say here that try to prevent any head injuries whatsoever. And if you do have head injuries, don't commonize it. Don't say, oh, it's just a head injury. No, see your GP and get it fixed. If that makes any sense. Because you never can tell what that would lead to. Because head injuries can lead to what? Dementia or Alzheimer's later on in life. All right? So you ask and I have delivered, okay? If there's any other thing you want me to talk about, please let me know in the comment section. And I know somebody said you wanted me to talk about how to handle an aggressive service user, which I will do, all right? So until I see you in my next video, guys, never you forget, please, that no matter what the matter is, you, you matter so much more. Au revoir.